We've sung our praises about the best, and now it's time to dredge up those awful memories of the worst. These are my bottom 10 movies of 2017 that I saw. And again, this is my personal opinion and it may not match up with yours. Deal with it or get. Number 10, Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. Based on a graphic novel that you probably haven't heard of unless you're French, Luc Besson's latest had a whole lot of style, but not much substance to go with it. Dane DeHaan and Cara Delevingne are terrible as the leads, and they are terrible together. They have no chemistry whatsoever, and I was not buying this romance at all. And the story really offers nothing that hasn't been done before and done much better. Number 9. The Mummy. The latest attempt at relaunching the Universal Monsters franchise, or the Dark Universe, face-planted in spectacular fashion. Cruz was horribly miscast, Butella and Wallace were trying, but the script kept holding them back, and the story was a complete mess. Next time, perhaps Universal would do well to make sure they're standing on solid ground before they try to launch anything. Number 8. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Boy, has this franchise run its course. Basically, all this movie did was recycle ideas from the previous films and shat on the existing continuity in the process. And Johnny Depp's shtick is really getting old. Javier Bardem was fun, and the visuals look fantastic, but that was not enough to save this film from mediocrity. But it made almost $800 million worldwide, so they're probably gonna make another. Number 7. Unforgettable. I can't say this movie lived up to its name because I had to go back and check my notes to remind myself why I didn't like this one. A better title might have been Unbelievable because so much of this movie was incredibly far-fetched. And Katherine Heigl's performance was about as subtle as a brick to the face. The big fight at the end was fun, but that's about all this movie had going for it. Number 6. The Dark Tower. Having not read the books, I suppose I was a bit less disappointed than most, but it was still pretty bad. Idris Elba was pretty badass as the gunslinger, but the story was a mess and did a terrible job of explaining anything. And McConaughey pulled a new superpower out of his ass with every scene. I know it's magic, but even magic has to have rules. Considering it took them 10 years to make this movie, it really should have been better than it was. Number 5. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. You probably forgot this movie even existed, and I don't blame you. A movie that had so much talent behind it, not to mention so much batshit insanity, should not have been nearly as boring and forgettable as it was. But somehow Guy Ritchie pulled it off. In a way, I'm almost impressed. And like The Mummy, this was supposed to launch a new franchise. Don't count your chickens and all that. Number four. Right. If you want to learn how to make a movie about racism the right way, watch Get Out. If you want to learn how to make a movie about racism the wrong way, watch Bright. The story is half-assed, the direction is half-assed, the fantasy elements are half-assed, the racism metaphors were half-assed, even Will Smith's performance was half-assed. Joel Edgerton, bless his heart, he tried, but there was nothing he could do to save this one. And I still want to know what the hell was up with that dragon. Number three, The Emoji Movie. I didn't expect much from a movie about Legos, and that ended up being amazing. I didn't expect much from a movie about emojis, and suffice to say, lightning did not strike twice. It's basically Inside Out meets Wreck-It Ralph, but without the charm or wit of either. It's boring, bland, and derivative, with a poorly executed message about individuality, and more product placement than you can shake a smartphone at. How appropriate that the main character's emoji is... meh. Number 2. Transformers The Last Night. I don't expect much from a Transformers movie, I really don't. But I still expected better than this. This was a giant clusterfuck of a movie, even compared to the previous films in the franchise. The story made no sense, the editing was terrible, Sir Anthony Hopkins was slumming it, the bit about Optimus Prime turning evil that they pushed so heavily in the trailers was an afterthought, and Earth was apparently Unicron the whole time. 
which amounted to jack shit. It's not funny, it's not interesting, it's not well made at all. This is Michael Bay at his worst. And what could possibly be worse than Michael Bay at his worst? Well, I'll tell ya. My number one worst movie of 2017 is... I'm such a jerk.